In this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly set your time settings on your NVR. All NVRs should be connected to the network, and the network settings need to be correctly set so that the NVR can talk to the internet and communicate to the time server. Under net network settings here, you go under TCP IP and you need to make sure your default gateway is your router IP address. If you don't have that set correctly, uh, the NVR cannot talk to the internet and cannot query the time server. Secondly, you won't also be able to connect to the uh, NVR remotely from a phone or other computer offsite. The other things are the preferred and alternate DNS entries. These are uh, domain name translation services that allow this to connect to a time server such as time.windows.com that I'm going to show you in a second. But you need to set the correct DNS entries. When we ship our NVRs out or DVRs, these are the default settings that are on there. So the preferred DNS is 8888 and the alternate is 8844. Make sure that's set and your proper default gateway is set correctly. Then when you move on to uh, the next page, you can right click to exit out of this menu. Then go under system here on the bottom right hand side and then go under general and then date and time tab. By default, you'll be navigated over to this page. You wanna go into date and time. And in here, um, you know, you'll see our default daylight savings time settings. These are correct. Your system time, this GMT region specifies Eastern time zone. If you want to set a different time zone, for example, if you want to do central, it would be minus six and mountain is seven and um, Pacific is eight, minus eight. So that's three hours behind um, Eastern Standard Time. So minus eight is Pacific, minus seven is Mountain, minus six is Central, and minus five is Eastern. Daylight savings time should be set as this in the United States. And then your NTP server, this goes back to the network settings and why I show that to you. The recorder is set to connect using the NTP protocol to a server named time.windows.com. Make sure you type it in and if you're doing it over the web interface, you are typing it in yourself, not copying and pasting it from somewhere. And then the interval should be one, two, three. I'm sorry, the port should be one, two, three. That's the NTP port by default. That should be open up on your uh, router or if you have a business class router, um, you need to make sure in that you have the NVR allowed to access the outside network to query port one, two, three from any server in the world. Uh, because uh, time.windows is a, a it's a domain name, it can change its IP address from time to time. The interval by default is 60 minutes. In here, I set mine to one. All you need to do is just go in and use the keypad in here to change it. Default 60 minutes should be fine if you want to leave it at that. Or if you are very careful about and, and you're worried about your NVR losing time, you can set it to a lower interval like one minute. Uh, on a home router, it does not really matter what your uh, router has for firewall or anything like that, usually they don't block any um, NTP requests going out. Only on business class routers, depending on how you set up your infrastructure, you need to make sure your firewall allows the NVR to reach out outside. And then hit apply and save, and now what happens is the NVR keeps its time. I'll show you, for example, here, I'm gonna mess up the time and change it to 113 here. Hit save, it changes my time here on the top, you'll see it says 13 and I set my interval to one minute. Keep watching it. I'm just gonna speed it up. I'm gonna hit apply and save. So within one minute, this NVR will automatically query the time server and update its time. I'm gonna zoom in to that area a little bit more so you can see it clearly. And here we go. It, within one minute, it changes time back to 10 a.m. So that's correct operation of an NTP server. If you don't have, again, if your something is blocking in your router, the NVR to reach out, either you have your gateway misconfigured or you have incorrect DNS entries or you're blocking your uh, 123 NTP port from being accessed by the NVR, you're not gonna update your time. And the way the time syncing works is every time the NVR reboots, upon reboot, as soon as it reboots, it will query the time server so that it syncs time inside. And then any compatible cameras that 
are able to get time from the NVR will also share that time with the NVR. That's how everything stays in sync on an NVR or DVR system. Thanks for watching.